Welcome to Charleston Sub Safaris. Get ready to have a good time. By now you would have entered our shop and signed up for your rental. We would have asked for some basic information and to sign both the rental agreement and a liability form. We have a key rack available for your keys and a storage area for your personal belongings. And if you drove, please feel free to leave your things in the car and make sure your car is parked in a short spot at the boat ramp or ask where else you can park. Our shop has everything you need to get ready to get out on the water. We have water, Gatorade, and Cliff Bars for sale, and if you brought your own water bottle, you can fill it at our water station. We also carry a variety of sunblock, croquis, lock sacks for your phone, hats, and t-shirts. There's a restroom down the hallway on the right, and we offer a phone case for all rentals to track your location on the Folly River and to also reach the office. Forgot your flip-flops? We have some you can borrow on the back porch under the table. From here, we're going to step out into the backyard and get you set up for your paddleboard rental. We're going to get you a life jacket and a paddle. It's easy to adjust the jacket by pulling on the black tabs. There are four at the waist. The paddle is measured to your height, so it should fit comfortably into the palm of your hand, label facing forward while paddling. Your paddle boards are placed on a cart. There is a locking strap that holds them in place, and you will notice that the fins are facing up at the handle. There is a handle in front to easily pull the cart. Please ensure that the fins stay facing up close to the handle so that the boards do not drag the ground on the nose while transporting them to the paddleboard launch. We will quickly head back into the shop and discuss your paddleboard route on the Folly River. It all depends on the tides and the winds. We have the high tide route and the low tide route. On the low tide route, you can paddle to the sandbar or explore the entrances of the creeks before heading back to the launch. On the high tide route, you can head into the first or second tidal creek. We want you to stop at the edge of the Spartina grass and avoid making the loop so that you don't cross the oyster flats. Safety first. And remember, on either route, do the hard work first by paddling against the wind or tide, whichever is stronger, and enjoy the lazy river ride back to the launch. Pull the sup cart between our building and make a left onto the sidewalk. You will then follow the sidewalk all the way down into the paddleboard launch. Continue to walk all the way down the launch into the water. There are four launches at the water, and the safest launches are the two facing outward. Please only use the outside launches for the paddleboards. There is an easy way to put your paddleboard into the launch. Place your paddle next to the launch, then come back and undo the strap to release the paddleboard. Put the sup leash on the wrist of your strong arm, then pick up the paddleboard with the handle and easily slide it across the launch. Before getting on your paddleboard, take a moment to remove the cart from the launch and place it to the right on the gravel. Stop. Please look and confirm that the fin is over the water and not on the launch before turning the board over into the launch itself. The fin must be in the water or it will break off under your weight and the rolling braces on the launch. From here, come onto your knees in the safe position and place the leash around your ankle by pulling your knee up onto the board. Retrieve your paddle and now pull yourself backwards into the water with the handrails. You are now ready to paddle away from the launch in the safe position. While paddling in the safe position, remember to choke up on the paddle so that you can paddle straight. Take a second to stow your gear under the bungee on the nose of your sup. Once you've reached the first dock on either side of the launch, you're ready to stand. Take a few strokes for momentum, put your weight into your hands with your paddle across the nose of the board, and come to your feet from your knees. When standing, use the paddle as a kickstand so that you can square your feet on either side of the board's handle. Adjust your paddle in your hands to shoulder length, face the label out, and you're ready to sup. Let's talk paddle strokes. The forward stroke begins by getting the blade out in front of the board and pushing with the top arm to drive the paddle down under the water along the side of the board. To perform the sweep stroke, turn the blade sideways against the nose of the board, label side in, and sweep out away from the side of the board. There are two strokes to help you turn. The back paddle helps you to turn on the same side that you paddle on, while the sweep stroke 
helps you to turn on the opposite side. Getting wet is part of the fun. So remember, if you fall off, the first thing to do is to place your paddle on the nose of the board. From there, reach your hand into the handle in the middle of the board, and while kicking your legs, pull your chest back up onto the board. Come back onto your knees, and you're ready to stand again. Oysters are our number one safety concern in the Folly River. So remember, stay 20 yards away from the edge of the river at all times. If you find yourself coming within that 20 yard radius, please come back down onto your knees in the safe position and use your paddle strokes to paddle yourself away from the edge of the river. Did the wind pick up? Is someone struggling? You may need to help each other. Towing a paddle board is simple. Take the leash from your ankle and paddle up to the nose of your buddy's board. Place the Velcro of the leash through the string on the nose of your buddy's board and reapply the Velcro. It's easier now for you both to work as a team and paddle back to the launch on your knees in the safe position. As you approach the paddleboard launch, remember to be aware of your surroundings. Watch out for boats. Paddle to the open outside sub launch and remember to use your turning strokes to line up your paddleboard in the middle of the launch. Slide your paddle under the bungee. Take your sup leash off and use the handrail to step off the sup. Walk back up the launch and retrieve the paddleboard cart. Put your paddle on the launch and then pull the sup further into the launch and slide it onto the railing. Pick up the sup by the handle. Be careful of the fin. Watch your step while you carry the board back to the cart, placing the board fin side up at the cart handle so that the boards do not drag on the ground on the nose while transporting them. Replace the strap and transport them back to our shop on the sidewalk. Return the boards to our backyard. Place your life jacket and paddle and the rack on the shed. And then feel free to wrench your feet off with the hose. Check back into the shop where you will return your phone case and take a second to rehydrate at our water station. Now get out there and have fun. Thanks for your business, and we look forward to seeing you upon your return.